it's pointing the case of is going to one, right? Now, if I come over here, it's gonna to go to case of two. Then you see this changes. So this goes to case of two. See how easy this is? Now three. So you see now the third light's on. All right, so in this example of structured text, what we're going to do is a case example, meaning a case of, we're going to do this. And generally speaking, this is a case of, uh, you know, like a, a integer or something, a, a case of a number that of what, like a number of one, of two, of three, of four, would do set things. Now, um, with this said, we're going to populate a couple things. We're going to do an init. I'm just going to call it an integer, right? Just uh, to keep it simple for everybody. Uh, integer, and we're just going to call this. Uh, and the short text for that integer is going to be int. Um, and then we're going to call. We're going to have output. Output one. And then that's going to be a bool. We're going to do output two, two, and that's going to be a bool. And we're going to do output three. And if I spell that correctly, we'll be good. So output three is going to be a bool. Okay. And then, so now we have our variables in here that we need right we, we've had some things we've declared some things we're going to skip down a couple lines um, just to kind of show you you know how things are working and you can always comment things um, you know as far as that goes uh, you know comment something out and say uh, in this in the last example we did we can always say something like um, uh, lamp one is equal to equal to what happens on and I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight I'm gonna bring this stuff a little bit closer for everybody to see happens on happens with switch one okay so let's go to to our case example and this is going to be a case example and I always do that I think dyslexia really hits me sometimes with my typing. <laughs> anyway, so case of example. This is going to be a case. You're going to start it of case, and then we're going to have integer. So we can we can right click and go to um, well basically our inputs and stuff, and click the integer. Just pop it in there just like that. Then we're going to say case of. Okay, and then we're going to populate. We'll say uh, one. And then we'll say our output equals two. So again, we can come down here and pick our output. We can come down here, open up the input assistance, and we'll say output one equals two. And this would be, in this case, we'll just call it true. So in this atmosphere, we'll call it true. And then we're going to do output. Um, this is going to be output two. So we can just type it out, or we can select it too. Let's just select it on the first couple, so you know how to do it. And let's do that, and let's do that. Scroll over here, equals to true. And let's, let's kind of spread that out a little bit. Ah, I spelled it wrong twice, that's that's something else. Um, <laughs> that means, yep, might need to take some like a lunch break right now. So uh, this one, actually, let's do this one false. Let's do that one false, right? And we'll do the next one, output three. We're gonna do that false as well. And we're, what we're gonna do is highlight all this stuff and actually show you a representation of this on the visual um, indicator like we always do. We'll call this false. And then we'll come down and do the next one which is going to be a two 
and then what we're gonna do is copy this I'll just keep it that simple copy this paste it down here I like to get a little bit of space between these two so in this one we're gonna say this is going to be false and this is going to be true okay and then we'll copy this again go down twice and then a case of three populate that in and then this one's going to be false now and this one's going to be true notice how it automatically like makes everything uppercase it's pretty cool right so it does it does a little bit of the work for you okay so we want to make this four populate that down paste that in there and this one we're going to do true true and backspace and we'll say case of five paste that in there again and then we're going to have this one as uh, let's just say this one would be true true <clears throat> and that gives us an indication and six would be we'll just say six is going to be all true so all lights on okay all lights will be on now we're just going to do one through um, basically one through six and then on the counter side to that we're going to do an else okay now the reason for the else and I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight this so we'll do an else and then we'll say output false so we'll cut all of these off so now the reason we're doing the else and I'll show you this so we're saying a case of the integer is a one do the turn output one on in turn output two off turn output three off in the case of a, the integer is a two cut output one off output two true output one or three off and so forth now if the output if the integer is ex, is not between uh, a one or a six then we want to turn all of lights all the outputs off now <clears throat> how am I actually talking um, and actually doing this as lights now I'll show you this Okay, so we want to come over here and we're going to blow this up again and get it at 150 so you can see it. Now we're going to throw some lights in here and I'm going to throw three lights. I'm going to change the color of them to begin with. We're going to go with blue this time so you can distinguish what's what. We're going to copy paste three lights. All right. All right, so now we have a position here for this light, this light, and this light. And what I want to do is actually get these all in alignment, top, and then I want to move this, move both of these down. So I want to move both of these down because I'm going to put a slider in here, but I want to put some text in here as well. So let's do these text. Let's put the text in here first. Um, and that's a common. And we're going to drag the text in here. And this is going to be output one light. Okay. So that gives you an indication of what it is. Now let's change this font uh, to a black and then bold okay so good and then we'll copy this move this over here this is going to be copy this paste it move this over here and you see i'm trying to just streamline this stuff right so just making it quicker by just copy making one exactly like i want it and then copying the rest so we're going to highlight all these and then we're going to align to top. 
Okay, so that gives an indication of what what the the lights are. Now, how are we going to actually implement? Um, and I'm going to show you how we're going to implement an actual, um, you know, change of the the integer. Now, uh, we haven't distinguished to we ha um, we're going to use a a slider right here, but we haven't distinguished the variables for these. So let's go ahead and do the variables real quick before we get into anything else. So we don't forget, right? Because uh, we are known to forget sometimes. So this is output one. This is output two. Output two. Okay. And output three. And I know this is, for some people, this may be going a little quick, but for others, it may not be. So um, please. What rewatch the videos if you need to, or pause them and whatever. Build this stuff, build it as you're doing it, so you get the understanding. If you're like me, you have to build it, you have to do it yourself to learn. Um, okay, so uh, what we want to do here is we want to now we're on the properties of the slider. Now I'm going to change the in scale, the in scale is going to be 10, okay, and the start scale will be zero. Now I'm going to say 10 because of the fact of, uh, well, I mean, we're just going to go zero to 10. That's really the, the whole gist of it. Now the variable is going to be the integer that we put in. Okay. So now we have a slider that works. We have an output that works. And what we're going to do here is we're going to compile, make sure everything's good. Now, sometimes it's it's a best practice to compile. We I know we didn't do that in the ladder logic section, but it's a best practice to do that. Um, but one versus the other, uh, ninety percent of the time or ninety nine percent of the time is perfectly fine. Um, it's to just go ahead and, and download specifically, um, you know, however you want. How it, it really is up to you. Okay, so in the case of what we're doing and I'm going to change this down to 100 again so you can see it and we can see all of the atmosphere right we can see all this stuff shrink this stuff down so we can see the visuals and get this stuff out of the way a little bit so you can see the case of I want you to actually see the case. So you see right now the case is of zero. All the lights are off. I'm going to slide the light. I'm going to slide the slider. You see that? So output one is true because it, the integer is pointing to one. Okay. So this is, this is what's working right now. The rest of these are not working because the two, three, four, five, the integer is not working, right? So the, it's pointing the case of is going to one right now if I come over here it's going to get a case of two then you see this changes so this goes a case of two see how easy this is now three so you see now the third lights on right this is the reason why I do simple ex examples like this that now it's a case of four okay so the case of four just like that, right? Case of four, which is we're turning output one and output two on, right? Now case of five, we should be turning output two and three on. Case of six, all the lights. And then what do we do if it's above six? We're gonna default everything to off, right? So you see that? If you see the integer going up, right? all the way to 10. Now you see if we, we can do this very fast, you see how fast this stuff will work? It really does, like structure text is, is super, super fast. So um, the reason why I did this really, really, really slow is for the simple fact to show you that in one, in zero right now, it's not gonna do anything. In one, it's going to, if it, it's gonna index to this the, what we just called right here you could have programmed these as many as you wanted to I use a lot of case examples I use the case examples for uh, like state machines 
um, in in Rockwell software. I use it generally for like a state control system, like a finite state control system, which is a, a, a lot harder to um, teach when it comes to doing that without you knowing the base principles of actually doing this, right? So um, with that said, this was a an example of using a case instruction, a structure set of uh, of structure text you know a case example so we did if then and else um, we did a case and else uh, you don't have to have the else but it is a good practice again the case of is something that is very useful as a highly used tool um, so I just wanted to show you how to do that and uh, go through and do some visualization so it really kind of sinks in so hopefully it did and if it um, if you need to please go back and watch these videos go back and pause them do the task implement this yourself you're going to learn more when you implement it yourself I can't stress that enough make sure you don't just watch the video you do the task pause the video do the task do pause the video do the task when you see it working yourself it's gonna click that much better it's gonna really sink in so hopefully that helped and we'll see you guys on the next one